Hey guys, what's up? Red Night Gamer here, and welcome to another episode of Farm Accelerator 15 on Great Smoky Diamonds. Alright, so the straw poll results are in, and as of today, which is Friday, April 24th, I think? Yeah, April 24th. The straw poll said, I think it was 74% said buy the 7230, but keep. The 9230. So that's what we are going to do since obviously it won. Go ahead and unload this guy. So let's fold up our header too. That way we're not completely ruining these, ru ruining these crops. Just, you know, some of them. <laughs> let's go ahead and go back here. Ooh, excuse me. Sorry about that, guys. Kind of snuck up on me. Alright. Apparently, we can get it from there. Awesome. Let's go ahead and buy our 7230 from here. Harvesters. Oh, 7130. Same thing. <laughs> Same thing. Same thing, just one model off. <clears throat> Come on. I just loaded the game, so it's probably going to take a while for it to reach its full power, I guess. I don't know. Uh, headers, I think I have some custom corn headers in here. Yep, we got 9 meter and it'll fold up, so probably going to end up... Oh, wait, that's what we need, so... That's a 9 meter. There's a 4 or 5. I think... This is all we need. Really, it's really all we need. It's what? One, two, it looks like an eight row. One, two, three, four, five, six. A six row head. Compared to 12 row, it looks like. Not gonna count. <clears throat> I really look like the look of this one, so we're gonna go with this one. Looks really nice. I use it on my off camera world. Oops, wrong thing. Off camera world in on a uh, old family farm, my personal save game. That's what it's called. Just doing some manure spreading. Maybe we'll do that today. I gotta go fill it up though. Here we are. Awesome. That's a bit quiet. Is it just my headset? It was just my headset. It was turned way down. Might be the game volume too, or my computer volume. So it might be a little quiet for you guys. I always forget to check it. Um, I do. Let's go forward. And hook up. There we are. Yeah, see? It's a nice little plow. No, did I just say plow? Nice little head. We'll go ahead and go ahead and fold it. And I think this is an in-game small New Holland head just retextured. Let's confirm that. Yep, exactly the same, just retextured. I think it even says Casey. Yep. Another reason I went ahead with it, I knew it was going to be good. Literally, all it is is the in game one, simply repainted, basically. That's all they did. So you know there's not going to be any errors if we check. Uh oh. Lua. Oh, that's auto combines messing up. Uh oh. <laughs> Good thing I checked. Holy cow. Okay, well. We uh, gotta. Looks like I gotta make sure my auto combine is up to date. Pretty sure it's out of date because I just saw Landy Kid. Uh, well, not just saw, but the other day I just saw him using the Forge Harvester with auto combine, so. That kind of tells me that, you know, kind of got to update it. Pretty sure it was out of combine, at least. It didn't seem like it was course blade. <clears throat> Sip of tea. No coffee today. It's actually rather late in the day already for me. It's Friday, so that's good. It's actually going to be Saturday when you guys see this, but it's good Friday, good Friday. <clears throat> 
off school and that's pretty much the best part <laughs> it really is all the beer I my system for the beer I figured out a good, a good system is at night it doesn't run I think it's past 1800 o'clock 18 o'clock that just sounds weird that's why I say 1800 it I think the factory shuts down and it doesn't produce anymore until maybe 6 a.m. I don't know I never I know it does uh, operating hours and uh, oh, oh, my phone's okay, it's just that just Twitter notifications anyway there's oper operating hours and during the non operating hours you don't get anything so during the non operating hours or night hours uh -oh, wrong one. I go in refill refill the water refill the grain if we have some I didn't refill it this time I kinda forgot and sell the beer so that's that's a nice little system right there alright get this guy going yeah this head this is gonna be the better head to use for this that's for sure maybe maybe we can bump up to the 9 meter how much is the one we have this is 12 meter and this is okay so it's gonna be the size of this which is the in-game one for this combine except the other one will fold I think it's like this I think this folds um yeah, we may end up just uh, going with the 9. I really only went with this because it kind of looks better. And honestly, in my area, you there's some of the smaller farms, they always have the 7130, obviously, because it's one of the better combines. Or something along the 7130, they all look like this. And they all actually have the same... Um, around the same with head you know six eight row heads <clears throat> okay yeah hired work is just being a little funny my auto come on you know, is it it's acting like it holy cow no it's off okay it's just just being weird I guess it has been a while since I hired a worker to do this. I normally just do the harvest myself, but we got to hire a worker in this case. Got some stuff, other stuff to do. I put this guy away for now. Uh-oh. Wrong button. X. G. O. There. Uh-oh. And from turning it on, that split second, we have 10% of corn. Or 10 grains of corn in it. Yeah, my life. <laughs> Alright, now we can go ahead and put this girl away. <clears throat> I'm getting this up tea. That's good stuff. So, I got the orchard set up already. Do that off camera because. Let's be honest, you guys don't want to see me placing down trees all up, all the whole episode, do you? It actually didn't take me too long. There's only... We got two rows of cherry... Yeah, two rows of cherry trees and two rows of apple trees. And that's literally it. And they just run the span of the whole area that you saw us clearing out last episode. Oh, here we are. Yeah, here we are. We got our cherries here at 33 percent and our apples just up here got our storage areas <laughs> apparently you can place these where trees are which I didn't really realize until you know it was too late so I just cut the tr tops off cut this one in here down but you know didn't really work out um, I think in this one we already have a small bit of apples yeah, we got 144 liters. Not sure how we're going to get them out. I think... I don't know. 
So apples are going to be on this side. So I think all we got to do is just back on up. Let's find our yeah, you. C10 here. This is what I've been using. We are going to get the uh, trailers for the mod eventually. But right now, since I really don't feel like driving to the shop anymore, even though it's the first time I'm actually playing the game today as a whole, besides testing mods. Alright, so just backing right on up to it doesn't work. So, I'll figure that out, or maybe one of you guys will let me know in the comments. <clears throat> Not quite sure how it all works. Never really played with the storage side, I always just sold them directly, so. Be interesting, it will. As you just saw, I put all the chaff from the Forge Harvester, Forge Harvest last episode into the bunker at the BGA, and now I'm in the process of selling it. Uh, probably not going to do that on camera because that's, in my opinion, really boring work. Uh, yeah. I think the worker thinks it has a big old 9 uh, meter on it. And I think that's why he's missing. So let's, I guess we have to buy the 9 meter. Because this is irritating me, to be honest. Um... You know what? There's actually something. Hopefully, it's not too much. Oil orders? Oh, duh, these are. Yeah. Wheel orders? 9,000. Yep, that's the one we want. Oh, wait. Make sure that's not the uh, outdated one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's most up to date. Uh, I don't know. Let's go a little bit of a dark red. Although the yellow looks pretty nice on it. Instead of pulling him off the field and losing production, since he's not, this guy's not really doing anything, waiting for the silage in the BGA, the silage level in the BGA to go down. That's what I'm trying to say. Might as well use him. Got the header with that new fancy thing. That is the Thor header at equip or attachment thingy. Of course I run into those little wood pylons things. And we're going to transfer him like this. There's the uh, supermarket that the guy just recently built here. Pretty nice. Yep, see, nice and folded up. This isn't where, yeah, this is where you hook up. Sweet. Kinda like this color, to be honest. Now we're too, over too far. Ah! I <laughs> couldn't get my buttons right. Oh jeez, a little bit heavy. I guess that's why there's the wheels. Oh, that's pretty neat. So it's probably not made for <laughs> long distance transport like this, but whatever. Definitely have to put our beacon on for this one, I suppose. This is really neat. I wonder if there's anything like this in real life. Be interesting to see. I've never seen one, to be honest. So cool. <clears throat> it's not it's not a terribly expensive price. It's not a cheap price by all means. But honestly, you're probably going to be using this if you have a couple head headers and you need to move them around in your shop. Which means you probably have a good bit of money. If you have a lot of money, this mod isn't too mo too expensive. It's only nine thousand dollars. Come on, <laughs> come on, you, you can do that. Let's 
go ahead and drop this header off here. Here. And yes, I know I could put the orchard in one of these grass fields, but I like the idea of doing some forestry, and I like the idea of an orchard. So instead of just replanting normal in-game trees, which honestly end up growing to be uh, looking like telephone poles, why not grow orchard trees that will actually still make us money? Yeah, and continuously make us money. We don't have to wait. Yeah, wait like a day and then it's growing so. All right. It still looks pretty good on this. Just, just off the side of it. All right. I love the folding headers too. They're just so cool. go don't mess up anymore please Cause this this is just ugly it looks like course play was doing it. <laughs> it really does actually you know what we can probably even stop you for just a second put all this good stuff on just because it is a hill don't want him to be slipping too much well we don't want him slipping at all but you know you know what I mean You'll miss that row, that's just fine. Mm. Excuse me? These burps are coming out of nowhere, I swear. <clears throat> Pretty nice. Hopefully, hopefully you guys have a good weekend. I'm saying that because I'm going to have a good weekend, I'm sure. Even though it's a little cold here in PA for some stupid reason, just PA, PA just is on crack with the weather. Mother Nature has said, you know what, PA, you don't deserve nice weather anymore, so we're going to put you back in the 40s and 50s. Thanks, Mother Nature. Oh, yeah, that, that was a problem for sure. It's kind of, kind of a weird problem. Yeah, see, this is what normally is just left behind one stalk. Anyway, I'm going to, going to, if you guys are car guys or truck guys classic cars and trucks you guys probably know of the big old car show carlisle in carlisle pa i'll be going there tomorrow or today when you see this yeah and that's gonna be super fun waking up at around seven o'clock in the morning hopefully get up there around i don't know i'm going up there with my dad and granddad so probably end up getting there after snacks and all that um, maybe around 10 maybe um, by all means if you guys are going to be up there go ahead and if you see me walking around go ahead and say hi <clears throat> I'll probably be a little awkward because I'm I said this before in a couple videos I'm socially awkward or I've been known to be socially awkward <clears throat> which is really funny because you know make YouTube videos for the astonishing 1,200 something few subscribers I have which is amazing by the way there we are just leave those there and we can leave this here too why not uh, let's see here what does that's the wrong thing what does the brewery need you need wheat and barley pretty good in water all right which one are you okay you're the normal one so i don't have to enter you normal or realistically all right go ahead and drop the fertilizer there i suppose where is the bull oh the bull's on the gcb so we'll hook up to the de jour i say that de jour so fancy and I think we have some wheat and barley in storage we have some wheat and little to no barley so it's always fun 
and we already need to put those on put a couple of weights on You fill up. Yep, I figured he was going to get stuck. Oh, jeez, he's really stuck, isn't he? Come on. Come on. It's that top of the fence post that's only holding us back. This is aggravating. I don't think I can get in there anyway. Let's find out. As my logo says on my YouTube banner, we'll figure it out. Can we clip through the in between these posts? No. That's what I was afraid of. Can we hit this at such an angle that we. No. Hmm. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Can we just ram the combine and maybe that'll push it, you know, out of the way? Let's see what happens. Come on. That's the thing with these games, this game. If you're gonna hire the worker, you best know how to get him unstuck. <laughs> Such speed, many wow. No. If I'm good at operating a front loader, no. I need to come in at a better angle than this. Let's see here. I'm gonna try and get the front part of the front loader. Maybe we can just do this. <laughs> Did the whole freaking combine at this rate. See what happens. Come on. No, you're not allowed to be stuck on that one little fence post, alright? I forbid it. I don't want to set him down yet. That's the thing. Alright, let's try it. No, he just went right back into where he was. See? I hate this game. <laughs> Sometimes I just really hate this game. Let's see here. Come on. Oh, 
Get in somewhere. Oh, that might be good. Yes! Victory! <laughs> we got him unstuck. After five minutes of trying. <laughs> uh, I guess it helps if you know. Kind of turn him on, you know? Sometimes it helps harvest when you're harvesting your crop. It helps to turn on your combine. <sighs> Just sometimes. You know, the whole save your camera thing, it's a good idea with this GPS mod or drive control mod. Except it saves the angle, which is really getting annoying. It is. If it saved which camera you were in, I could see how that would be kind of cool, but it's kind of getting annoying how it is uh, configured right now. It saves the angle you're at and all that. Pretty cool that he did it. It's cool at first. Then you start using it. <laughs> Clean up just a little bit of these mess ups. You know, I'll do that off camera. <laughs> we don't need boring. I don't need to bore you guys. I don't. <clears throat> oh yeah, we got wheat growing over here too. Sweet. Let's do a little harvesting ourselves in cab. There we are. Sweet, 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 sweet. Yeah, that's wheat. Awesome. Man, I miss my mirrors. I really do. <clears throat> All right, looks like this is good. What we're gonna be doing? Missing a row. Eh. Yeah, we're missing a row. Mm. Uh, excuse me. The episode here. I <laughs> <clears throat> get bored. Eh, we're probably gonna be. Most of the way done when we get up back up there with another headland, so. End up doing this all ourselves, apparently. <clears throat> Alright. I may end up taking this birch tree down. Um. Just because it's kind of in the way of the hired workers. It is. Really paying attention to what I'm doing. It's not good. <clears throat> there we are. Uh, let's let's try hiring this guy for just a minute. Let's see if we can't get this to the brewer. Brewery. Brewery. There we go. <laughs> Couldn't say that word for a second. It's kind of weird. Oh, come on, don't start. Don't don't spin it out. Come on, you can do it. <clears throat> there we are. Oh yeah, those fields over there are almost ready to go too, which is awesome. Almost forgot about those. And he's at 100%. Of course he gets to 100% as I'm getting up to speed. Uh oh. Got a little wobbly there. <clears throat> you know, I'm not even going to try and get to the angle for that bridge. Just jump the river. There we are. Totally realistic here on the Redneck Gamer channel. The water should be good for another day. The wheat, uh, it'll get them somewhere, hopefully. We gotta take a weight off of here. We'll do that as we're dumping. We just need one on the front. <clears throat> there we go, sweet. Let's tab over to the JCB.
unload the combine here. Come on, you can do it. Jeez, the first one made such a mess. Holy cow! <laughs> Didn't realize it was gonna make that that big of a mess. Oh well. Let's go ahead and hop in our manure spreader wherever it is. There she is. This uh this works really good. I like it. Uh, it does get dirty. Just gotta keep in mind that I do have the. Um, oh. I forget what my what my what the my name is called, but it's it makes it so the equipment doesn't get dirty as fast as as it does just normally. Cause let's be honest, the normal way it gets dirty is super fast, and this mod makes it so it has to have like I think it says five hours of work on it before you start seeing some dirt on it, which is a lot more realistic. <laughs> it is. Rather than just five minutes, you get five hours, you know. <clears throat> That's quite attractive. Pulls them like a dream. Of course, turning is a little silly because I'm using a keyboard. Apparently, with a steering wheel, it's a little smoother. <clears throat> That's what everybody who has a fancy steering wheel, like the G27, says, so. Food. What time is it? Oh, it's actually time for me to wrap up the episode. <laughs> wow. Time flies. So, thank you guys for watching. Actually, I'm going to end it, but I'm going to tell you guys what I'm going to do next episode. I almost forgot to do that. Off camera, I'll probably finish up these fields. Um, maybe do the cultivating off camera. And some planting, I don't know. Oh no, I won't do planting because we gotta spread the slurry. I'll do that on camera. Maybe we will even do some manure spreading. <clears throat> That's something I haven't really done much of in this game yet. Excuse me. So, thank you guys for watching. Until next time, I'm the Renegade. We see y'all. Uh, excuse me. In the next video.